Hello. I'm Gretchen Kaufman, and as Executive Vice President for Academic Affairs and Provost at Augusta University, it's my honor and privilege to welcome each of you today to your freshman convocation and to thank you for joining us in this virtual venue. But even more than that, I'm so happy to officially welcome you, the class of 2024, to the Augusta University family and the Jaguar Nation. The Freshman Convocation is a somewhat formal program that many universities hold to mark the official start of their students' academic career. We wish we could celebrate your start in our usual face-to-face -face venue, but because your health and safety are our highest priorities, we chose to hold today's event in this virtual world. Despite this non-traditional venue, you'll note that we are attired in very traditional academic regalia. We do this as a mark of the importance we place on you, our entering students, and also because we want you to picture in your mind at this point in your career that the next time you likely will see us in this sort of attire, you too will be attired as such at your graduation ceremony. We look forward to that day and want to partner with you to ensure that your time as an Augusta University student is a time of intellectual expansion, personal growth, and oh yeah, a lot of fun as well. We here at Augusta University have six important values that we embrace together as a family, as a community. These are collegiality, compassion, excellence, inclusivity, integrity, and leadership. I could spend a lot of time talking about each one of these, but today I'll draw your attention to two of those values, which are specifically the focus of the class of 2024, collegiality and compassion. By its very root, collegiality sounds custom made for the college experience. And indeed, your college years are a special time for forging bonds and developing relationships that truly will last through the decades. Explore and embrace the full breadth of collegiality in all of your university experiences. Likewise, I would challenge you to approach every encounter, every interaction with compassion first and foremost. Seek to demonstrate compassion kindness, empathy, understanding to every individual you meet in whatever circumstance they are. Classmates, faculty, staff, and strangers. It's now my pleasure to introduce to you our president, Dr. Brooks Keel. Dr. Keel is the inaugural president of Augusta University, a celebrated distinguished alumnus of both our legacy institutions and all around top Jaguar on campus, Dr. Keel. Thank you, Provost Kaufman. Hello, I'm Brooks Keel, and I'm the president of Augusta University, and I also want to extend a warm welcome to you, the class of 2024. This is an exciting time of the academic year, and it's important to recognize new beginnings. As freshmen, you enter college at convocation with great potential. Over the next four years, you will enhance your growth mindset, build relationships with faculty and peers, discover academic passions, and develop your leadership potential. In essence, you will become an Augusta University Jaguar. As seniors, you will exit Augusta University by way of commencement and will leave with the knowledge and skill sets to navigate your world and advance your careers. But most importantly, you will graduate armed with what it takes to make significant contributions to society. We celebrate these entrances and exits with special ceremonies because you or why we are all here. I officially welcome you to Augusta University and encourage each of you to engage and explore as you chart your personal path to success. Now we have some folks who want to welcome you to AU and share some of their experiences. My favorite freshman memory was probably service learning with my AU classmates. Specifically, we went to the Boys and Girls Club and we just played with the kids and we gave back and we had a great time. My favorite memory, I would have to say, was meeting my best friend Ian McLeod. It was at the, I think, game room and I was just sitting alone, just minding my own business. I was afraid of making friends, but then out of the blue, he just showed up. And the strangest thing, how we met, was just us talking about Pop-Tarts. 
my favorite freshman memory was all the connections that I had with my roommates and my sweet mates. None of us had cars, so we were stuck on campus a lot of nights and that encouraged us to make up our own fun. So we had pizza nights, we had game nights, we walked downtown together, but we really created a bond that even to this day, we are still friends. My favorite freshman memory has to be competing with my track team. I really loved getting involved here at the school and you get to meet so many new people and if you travel just like we did, you get to meet people from other universities and we get to see a whole new side of Georgia. I think my favorite freshman memory is just the, the different types of relaxation methods in the class or how relaxed it is compared to high school. High school was so regimented, you couldn't do this, you couldn't do that, you had to raise your hand to use the restroom, you were afraid to speak out or, any, or anything like that, whereas in the college atmosphere it's much more relaxed. I would say my astronomy class, uh, professor was really cool and we got out there like one night and had telescopes on top of the roof and it was, um, it was Jupiter, Jupiter was out there. I have to say that it was just an overall feeling. I had freedom like I had never had before. I knew that I could eat when I wanted to eat or go to sleep when I wanted to sleep and um, I could hang out with whoever I wanted to hang out with. And it was just really kind of a neat experience, so different from high school. My favorite freshman memory is participating and competing in the Augusta University pageant. Now, this was a amazing experience because I got to meet so many different women that really inspired me to explore um, things like walking and having talent and really putting myself out there for other people to see who I am and and showing pride in my school. You did not come here to be alone. You have an entire community of faculty, staff, and other students who are here and we want to lock arms with you and walk through this thing together. And I kind of like the online environment, especially for students, because you can see their rooms a little bit, and that gives you a little insight into who they are, what types of things they like. And they can see my office space. So I have little decorations everywhere that students like to talk about when they see it, like pandas or zombie things. Not actual pandas, but panda toys and zombie things around the, my office. And students like to engage with those types of things and start conversations. It's really difficult to stay connected in the virtual world, but me and my friends have this way of getting together at least once a week over group chat or something so that we can exercise or watch movies together. And when it came to getting in contact with my professors, email is your guideline. Just use email with every question that you have. You know, chatting up, um, making sure to catch up with all your friends and just not, um, not isolating yourself. You're, not alone, but you're connected, right? Because of our world of technology. So it's always good to keep in touch with everyone. Group FaceTime is a great way for me to get involved in our virtual world. Um, whether it's talking to my friends or staff members here to catch up. You're there, but you're not there. So you just gotta study up. You gotta look at your notes before. You gotta email your professor, like let her know that you're still active in the class, even though you can't, most people don't like to comment on the virtual world like put their two cents in. So it's good to email your professor and let her know you're trying your hardest. It's just tougher than being in the class. I'm starting to convert my thinking from being an issue or a concern to more of a, um, an opportunity. I'm learning all, all kinds of new tools and things to do online that's kind of like gaming. It's like a fun thing. You can change your background. You can chat with people on the, the virtual chat while you're actually talking with people visually. Always be willing to accept what might happen and be willing to accept it with an open smile and be prepared to overcome this obstacle for the next year. Number one, get involved. Get involved and push yourself to get involved as quickly as possible. 
Um, it can be a little intimidating because you're a freshman and you may not know what's going on on campus, but it benefits you so well once you get involved and you make a place for yourself here on campus. Definitely get involved in clubs and things like that. Um, me and my friend actually started a the Augusta University weightlifting club, so if you're really into exercising, you should do that. Um, I know there's tons of great art clubs, anime clubs, medical clubs, so definitely don't just uh, be in clubs to like boost your resume. Do things that really like matter to your heart and through that you can find your passion in life and really take things far and Augusta does a great job of having a, like a variety of things a myriad of things you can choose from so make sure you really take advantage of that also take advice from your professors and anyone else who gives it to you because everything that they're saying they're giving you opportunities to become a better person and you should definitely take those into consideration time management you never know how long an assignment's gonna take so I prefer my students over budget time than under budget. If you think you have 60 minutes for an assignment, schedule yourself 90 and if you finish early, good for you. Getting to know your classmates because those are the people in your class that you are going to be talking to every day, going to be in the class with. It's like a battle. When you go to a class, it's like a battle. So everybody's, everybody's for each other. So you want to get to know everybody, let them get people's names, numbers, emails, and just help them out, help you out. It's really easier when you have somebody doing it with you. But always be looking out for events that are happening at school. It's your freshman year still, and there's loads of experiences. They're more than enough for you to get out of your comfort zone, go to the game room, all, you may even go to the library. Even though people are wearing masks, you can still communicate. We're not like shooting ourselves from the world. We're just shooting ourselves from this virus. Have fun. Always engage with the reading or an assignment in a fun way. If you have a positive outlook and think something's going to be fun, then it's not going to be so dreadful when you do it. Some things will be, but if you think you're having fun, it's going to be more fun. And professors like to see or think that our students are having fun with the boring assignments we assign. I recommend that you try things that you've never tried before. Push yourself, push yourself um, past your limits, and have a great time. Connect yourself to a student organization or get a student job. Any way that fits for you, you need to be a part of this community, not just here, but we need what you have to share with us. And it makes it real that you are a part of this institution, this community when you're investing. So get involved. You should make sure that you carry your syllabus around from all of your classes because those are gonna be your lifelines throughout the classes and the courses. They tell you everything you need to know about anything and it also gives you the information for your teachers and your professors. Establish great connections with your professors because later when you apply for grad school or you just need help figuring something out for a class, they will be there for you. Good communication, time management, and just have fun while you're here. We have amazing professors, amazing faculty that you can always go to. Um, probably in this next school year, you can have office hours through like um, some sort of technology enhanced way, but always go to your teachers and go to your friends and make sure that you keep an open mind and um, are very engaged in your education process. Two to one ratio means that for every hour that you're in class, your professors are gonna be expecting you to do two hours worth of work. So a two to one ratio is really important when you apply it to your academics. Um, if you add up all of those hours, say you're taking 15 credit hours a semester, and then you're like, well, that would be 30 hours of academic work, you would be right. And added together, that's 45 hours worth of work. It's like a full-time job to go to college. So go ahead and mentally prepare yourself for that. Manage your time, be prepared to limit the amount of free time you have and focus on other stuff like your homework and also talking with your teachers about this new environment that you're going to be in. If the crew tells you about events, go to them. Don't think that they're going to be lame because they're from the school because Pig Out, which is where I got this free shirt, it's so much fun. You get to meet so many new people and even though it's at the school and it's a school function, you actually have a really great time. And the final thing that I would say to our first year students, do not be afraid to ask for help. Thank you so much for sharing your experiences and advice with our newest members. Your messages truly reflect collegiality and compassion in practice. Traditions are very important in academic life, 
much like the arsenal bell which opens and closes our ceremonies, or the class pen that marks your graduation date. The class photo is also a tradition at Augusta University. This year, we created a cool virtual class mosaic, and now we are complete with you as part of our Augusta University family. Thank you all for taking time to watch this year's freshman convocation. We're so glad you're part of Augusta University family. Now go forward and make every day count as you explore your pathways towards success. Go Jags! Downtown Augusta is amazing. If you're a foodie, just there's, I know there's a bunch of different restaurants with a bunch of different cuisines and um, just being here with the atmosphere and the people and you know that we've got a great river, the river walk, there's just always like no shortage of things to do. Um, it, there's something for everyone here. So I just love Augusta because of its, um, it's just a cultural hub, I think. One thing great about living in Augusta is that you're only two or three hours away from everything. You can go back into the big city of Atlanta or Charlotte. You can go to the mountains. You can go to the beach. You can go to the lake. And all of these are within a two to, two to three hour driving distance. So I think Augusta is centrally located more than most other university towns. Go to Broad Street. I love to go to Broad Street with my friends, specifically Mellow Mushroom. Um, we love Nacho Mamas, Bull Weevil. Just come downtown, go eat. I encourage students that are from out of town or even in town, like just walk down downtown Augusta. Downtown Augusta is known for being funky. I love it. So anytime I'm, I'm in a personal funk or I, I can't think of something to do, I like to just go downtown and go for a walk. and. You know, in this time, stay socially distanced from people, but it's so fun to see all the different folks downtown. Adulting is definitely different. It's um, a transition, and I think college is a great step to sort of um, journey into that. Um, you have to learn how to cook, um, and even if it's not cooking, you know, making a sandwich, making sure you have everything that needs to be done, um, doing your laundry. I know some of my friends didn't know how to do their laundry, so if you have a couple days at home right now, make sure you figure out how to do that first. Growth is the biggest thing. That's the biggest thing that I advocate. That's what I push. That's what I think is a really good thing for you to do and to learn and to embrace in college. I was struggling with trying to struggle with like um, social anxiety and trying to overcome this new obstacle that was college. But I'm a senior now. I have multiple friends from different areas because I was open. I was willing to just step my foot into that door where a new environments will experience it. And I make great connections with friends, with teachers, with even parents from other friends of writing me as well. So always be willing to go out there and make the first step rather than let someone else take the first step for you. The Student Success Center has all tutors for core classes that really help the student out. They help you. If you can't figure something out, they'll go through it with you. They have boards, they have markers, they have really engaging. So. That helped me a lot too my freshman year. I think the one that I used the most was the Academic Success Center. I saw a lot of friendly faces and anytime I, even when I wasn't struggling in a class, if I just felt like I needed a little more information, I would go down there and I used them. They were great for biology tutoring, physics tutoring. I know they've got all the sciences, all the maths and other things. One thing that I want to share with everybody that's watching is when you come to Convocation or when you're watching Convocation, you will get a class pin. And last year, just like you guys, I received a pin with my class and it's right here. It says class of 2023. And when you've made it, when you've gone through all four years of graduation, you can wear your pin loud and proud. So we look forward to meeting every one of you face by face and name by name because that's what we do here at Augusta University.